Welcome to Down the Line. So today we're going to be taking a look at the DHD Black Diamond. Um, and this really fits into the DHD range as that magic little all-rounder, um, that one board that covers kind of a lot of ground. There's not a lot of uh, conditions you wouldn't take one of these things out in. Um, taking a look at the template, it's got a nice full nose and plenty of foam up under your chest there. Um, and this then sweeps into this really nicely refined, nicely pulled in little round tail. Um, and what this does for you, you've got that width, you've got that thickness up in the front, so it means that they paddle into waves really easily. They're nice and forgiving, they're nice and user friendly, easy to generate speed off your front foot, easy to get moving down the line. But then that pulled in little round tail and those refined rails in the back of the board there just mean that you can put it on rail really easily, it wants to sit in the pocket and you can really get a lot of manoeuvrability um, and a lot of high performance out of this board as well. So taking a look at the concaves, there's a single into a double and then with a subtle little bit of V off the tail there. Um, now this is going to give you all that lift, all that speed and projection down the line that you want from a board like this. Um, they make for a really versatile little kind of all-round um, performance board. Having that width, having that kind of volume up in the front, coupled with that bottom shape, just gives you an abundance of speed. You can get them moving in kind of real small, weak waves. Um, but then having that drawn in, refined tail, just means that if you do get it in a wave that stands up, or a bigger, more hollow wave, they're going to give you that hold. They're also going to give you that performance in the pocket. Um, you can really, this board covers a lot of mileage. You can take them out in one foot sloppy surf, you can take them to Indo and surf pumping barrels on them. Um, they're a really versatile little model. When it comes to fin setup, they are available. Um, they come as standard as a five fin, so available as a quad or a thruster. Um, personally, I really like these boards as a quad. This is something that we spoke about at length with Darren when he came over. Um, he was saying he really finds quads to work well in these boards. They're just kind of coupled with a round tail, having a quad, not having the centre fin, just allows you to kind of like break your turn on, on your bottom turn. You can kind of get that little release that you need to send the board a little bit more vertical. Um, and they also generate heaps of speed down the line. Um, great in hollow surf. So yeah, for me, I like it as a quad, but equally, we've got a lot of customers that really like them as a thruster. Um, and technology-wise, it's available in EPS, like this one. Um, the DHD EPS range has been going really well for us. There's some great feedback on it. Really responsive, really lightweight, gives you that extra little boost to your surfing. Um, and it is also available in standard PU for those guys that prefer the feel of a wooden stringed board. Um, they're also great as well. Uh, if you've got any questions on the board, feel free to drop us a message or pick up the phone, give us a call at the shop anytime.